Herman Waldman um, has an advantage because he trained as a medic and therefore understood some of the, the plight of patients. In 1979, uh, the MRC gave me a program grant. At that point, I'd had no prior experience in the area. Uh, I wanted four or five people to work with me. I was relatively junior, and they took a, they took a punt and they gave us the money. And without that, we couldn't have really got started. He uh, embarked on the production of certain antibodies. And he went to the right place. He was in Cambridge. He uh, paired up with Cesar Milstein. And um, between them, they produced an antibody, which is called Campath-1. We set about saying, can we make antibodies to the lymphocytes? And can we make sure that those antibodies don't damage stem cells? You need to make the blood system. And can we have antibodies that kill those cells using the body's own uh, natural killing mechanisms, the sort they would use to kill bacteria. That's how we came across Campath. It was the only antibody, actually, that targeted all the lymphocytes, left behind the stem cells that give you a blood system, where you could attract the killing mechanisms in the whole body. The whole goal, I mean, throughout has been, can you get the immune system to become reprogrammed? So instead of regarding something as f a potential enemy it should attack, to change his attitude and say, look, uh, this is potentially friendly, we will, the immune system will not react to this. A lot of immunology actually has grown out of transplantation. Uh, one would be surprised how important transplantation is in the development of immunology, understanding the role of the major histocompatibility complex. They're the genes that determine whether you reject or not. Uh, understanding the cells that show antigens the immune system came in transplantation immunosuppression came in transplantation. So all the things that I'm potentially interested in in trying to control the immune system have a strong transplantation origin.